Wow, it's bread. It hasn't posted for years. Bread. Hello. Oh, hi. So, uh, as you may know, the new one UI beta is out. Okay, just use the ADB method. I've had that for years. Okay, but my device supports seamless updates. Supports what? Seamless updates. Oh, shit. Yo. Damn, it's been a long time since I've uploaded, but hi there, bros. My name is Presto, and currently a new one UI beta update is out, and uh, now with the devices that support seamless updates, it's actually easier to do so, and I'll show you. So devices with seamless updates are devices which have been released after Galaxy S25 and uh, some eight devices. When you update, it shows something like this. So in order to update, I will leave the links in the description for each device when the beta is out. And what you will be needing for this update will be these apps, as you can see here. So let's go to the video without further ado. Yeah. All right, so here we are at the phone. Now, we'll go through some steps. First of all, we will enable Shizuku and Root Activity Launcher in order for us to launch the secret hidden menu. And then we will download and install the beta or update zip file. So let us start with the apps that we need. And we'll start with Root Activity Launcher. This is the app. I actually bought it. I think you have to pay for it, but I literally could not find another one. If I find a free alternative, then I will link it down in the description. And as always, everything is linked down. So install this one. While this is installing, we need to also search for Shizuku. So after installing both of these apps, I'll start with Shizuku. Open it. Go to the settings of your device. Go to about phone software information and here keep tapping at the build number it will ask for the pin of your phone then here you click ok if you go to the bottom you can see developer options tap on that one and then i'll go to wireless debugging and tap on it and enable it now that it is enabled go back tap on pairing so i have to give notification access go back and now it is searching for pairing service go back to developer options tap on pair device with pairing code and the notification will show up tap on enter pairing code without exiting this uh, little tab i will tap the code so 492.967 and i'll just send all right, now pairing is successful. What you need to do is add Shizuku. Go back and tap on start. You have to wait for this one. Sometimes it may act weird. You just go back and tap on start again until it works. So I go to the authorized applications, search for root activity launcher. In my case is the first one. And now down in the description, you have this app name. I'll just copy this. Now I just need to find where root activity lounger is. Oh, it's here. Magic. Tap on search, search components, and here paste what I just copied. So this one. Go to activities. And as you can see, there is this software update. What you need to do is if you need to have it always on your home screen, you may just tap here. Add to home screen, so add this link icon, add. I'll go to my home screen and as you can see, I have it here. Now we are set up and we need to go and download our update.zip file. Now this video is about the updates for devices that support seamless updates. And at this point of uploading, uh, One UI 8 beta has just been leaked. So it's not the official beta. So I'm using this one as a test. The logic is the same as always. You go to the XDA forum of your device, created by these amazing guys who are always finding these updates, helping each other and respect. You go to where the files are and wait a second. What does this mean? I have no idea. If you know what it means, you may skip it, but what does it mean? So in order to know what this means, what you need to do is go to settings again, 
go to software update just click randomly on your download update and as you can see at the current version my last four characters numbers or whatever is a y d a okay you have to remember that one and here look it says a y d a so it will work with my update if i had something else a y d 9 i would be using this link so you have to be careful about using the right link as you can see this is first beta second beta third beta you cannot go from the first beta to the third beta directly that is very important so now i'm going to do the first one so the first beta here so i'll go from i y d a to z y e a okay now to download this the update i'll just choose this one for example open in a new tab or save link but this one is in google drive so i will just open in a new tab i will download this one and it will have a random name dot bin this is important download it so when you download your file it will have something like this at the name at the end of the name i don't care about the name itself what you need to do is hold it use whatever file explorer you're using rename it and change this dot bin to dot zip rename it will give you a warning change no worries and what you need to do is again hold it move and you need to move it to the internal storage move here okay now i go home and i go to this shortcut i just created after going there you tap on sideload update software by sideloading for example for my case i have downloaded all of them but i'm doing this one so a y d a to z y whatever and i'll tap on okay for it to flash it all right now it says almost done information and restart now and it's on let's start and hope my phone doesn't crash so i'll agree to all not uh, sell my soul though agree now here what I can do I will keep updating but intermediate step which I suggest you after oh by the way congratulations you have the beta update which I suggest is to install this application link is in the description it's called a shell U. I'll just uh, go to releases I'll provide the link directly in the description so here tap on the first one apk file so tap here settings and allow permission to install unknown apps and update in my case because i already installed it okay do be something like this then i need to go and activate shizuku again now i will authorize a shell u as well and add a shell a shell i don't know how you call it tap on local and here write the command that is at the description so recovery so shell reboot recovery it will show like this so it will restart your device here enhance with the volume buttons you go up and down and with the power button you confirm so i will go to not wipe data be careful wipe cache 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 something and then here do yes after doing that one, I just at reboot, I click the power button. I suggest you do this one after every update so the phone is more fast, I guess. You may do your research for this one. So I will just keep going with this one and see you at the outro. Bye bye. Well, that was all. It's been a long time since I've uploaded and I'm actually sorry about that. And uh, I'll be uploading the updated holding method as well because there are some changes regarding that one. And when it's updated, it will be in the card somewhere here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. If you like the video, of course, like it and subscribe to become a pro. Bye.